guys, today I'm going to be doing a laundry chat video and I asked on my Instagram if there were any like topics you guys wanted to hear me talk about. And I got a couple of comments, so it's gonna be kind of like a random Q&A laundry chat type video. So let's hop right in. So the first comment I got was about my laundry routine and what kind of diapers I use. Um, asking if I use any pockets. I do use some pockets, but my main system, as you can see, are flats <laughs> and covers. That's definitely my number one favorite system to use, but we do use a big variety of different kinds of diapers. We have all-in-ones, we have an all-in-two system, we have, you know, fitteds and inserts and boosters and every kind of, all kinds of stuff, <laughs> except for like pre-folds. That's the big one that like we don't have a bunch of pre-folds. I did have pre-folds in like the newborn days or like a little after the newborn days, but we don't use them much anymore. Flats and covers are my go-to system. And I do use flats inside of pockets as well. I have some Elemental Joys and then any other pocket diapers that I have like the Alva or the Kawaii. Is it Kawaii? No, not quite. Um, the Koala, Mama Koala, my goodness. <laughs> the Mama Koala, I do stuff those with flats. Now, as far as my laundry routine is concerned, I will leave a link down below to my video about my laundry routine. I essentially do like a small wash, then a big, large wash with an extra rinse, and then I hang all my PUL, and I put everything else in the dryer. So every washer-dryer combination is different. Everybody's water situations are different. I have never had any issues with my laundry except for one time when I was using a brand of detergent called My Green Fills, and it's, you know, marketed as this more eco-friendly kind of detergent that you just add this little packet into the water and it makes your detergent. That's the only detergent that I've used that did not work for my diapers. My husband even noticed in his work shirts that they were not smelling clean, and so that's when we stopped using that detergent because if it can't even clean my husband's work shirts, it's definitely not gonna clean diapers. So the next question that I got on Instagram is something that I don't even know if I should address because it's like not something we do. So they're asking about stubborn diaper stains. I don't care. I don't do anything at all about diaper stains. They don't bug me. I just don't care. <laughs> even in the newborn days when it was like that yellowy baby poo stain on everything, that didn't really bug me. They all came out, you know, we used these flats right here on newborns and they were stained yellow and poo splotches while the baby was still in the newborn stage. But look at them right now, they're perfectly fine. There's nothing stained on them. So yeah, I do nothing for laundry stains. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, people say, I have had experience with, you know, putting them out in the sun. When it's nice out, I do like to put my diapers out in the sun sometimes just because it makes me feel nice and happy like when spring's starting to come around and it's just like a nice little ritual to like get you into like the summertime mood. I do like to put stuff out on the line every once in a while on a little dry rack. I don't have like a real line, but uh, I mean, you can tell that the sun actually takes out stains and stuff. So the sun works, but like I said, I just don't care. I don't do anything special. They come out in time. I don't have any diapers that are like permanently stained or anything. They all come out with time and they're just gonna go back under baby's butt and get more stains, so I don't care. And the final question of the day is how to destigmatize cloth diapering. I am super duper fortunate that I have not come across any issues at all that I can think of with anybody saying anything negative or stupid to me about cloth diapers. I've never come into contact with somebody who's like, OMG, that's so nasty. Like, I, that's never, no one has ever said anything like that to me. And I've never like come into personal contact with anybody who said something like that. Maybe I've gotten like stupid comments on my videos, you know, but you get stupid comments on videos all the time anyway. So like that doesn't count. But in real life, I'm very, very fortunate to have people who are super um, open about cloth diapering and just positive and helpful and even intrigued. I have several people, friends and like relatives of mine who have asked me about cloth diapering and asked me to help them you know, choose a system or explain more about diapers to them. So I have been super lucky to have pretty much everybody in my life be very positive overall about cloth diapering. Now, overall, I think in order to destigmatize anything, it really all comes down to education. People just need to learn more about cloth diapering. If people think that it's like nasty and unsanitary and like if people are really like 
that dumb about cloth diapering like all they need is a little bit of education and if you don't want to personally give them that education at least send them some links that would help them so some people are just ignorant some people are just you know don't care to learn just want to say negative things just want to start crap you know and i mean i wouldn't even waste my time with people like that <laughs> like i said i don't experience anything like that in my personal life but uh People who are just ignorant, just leave them alone. Let them, let them do their thing. But overall, I would say that like just having your kids running around at family gatherings or out at the store or whatever, wearing their cloth diapers makes people more intrigued and makes it more mainstream to be showing off your baby in cloth and like like I do like posting pictures of baby in cloth on Facebook or here on YouTube or on Instagram or whatever just posting your kids in cloth diapers it gets more people thinking like just seeing it and being a little bit more familiar with it gets people a little bit more thinking about it and so that helps to make it become more mainstream right that's the goal here we want people to not think of cloth as like this weird strange marginal alternative but as a real legit alternative to using disposable diapers on your babies and to think just a couple generations ago we were all wearing cloth right you know your grandma or whoever was wearing cloth diapers because there was no other option and we want to just bring it back we want to bring it back we want it to make it mainstream we want it to be something that's actually attainable and doable and accessible for everybody so that's it for today's short little video if you have any other random topics you want to hear me chat about on a laundry chat video just leave me some comments down below and i'll be sure to get back to you guys if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up let me know your opinions down below and i'll talk to you guys next time bye